Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Sarah's Vegan Kitchen. Today's video is going to be the very first installment in a new series that I'm starting called Quick Bites. So every week I'm gonna share a short video, probably between five to eight minutes, that is either a single recipe tutorial or a what I eat in a day video featuring a couple different recipes or meal ideas. Now I am going to keep making my longer, more casual vlog style videos, but I did want to start including some content on the channel that's just short and sweet and to the point and educational. So with that being said, let's get into today's what I eat in a day video. So I'm starting out with my daily coffee and if you watched my previous video, you might know that I've been enjoying making homemade frappuccinos. I'm using a mixture of soy milk and almond milk as the base, putting in a good amount of ice as well. And then I like to use instant coffee just so that I can add a little bit extra and make it on the stronger side, but you can always just freeze leftover coffee and use that instead of ice cubes. I'm adding some powdered stevia, also putting in a little dash of vanilla extract, and then my secret ingredient, a little bit of xanthan gum just to act as an emulsifier and make it super thick and creamy and to keep the ice from separating. And I sipped on that while I prepared breakfast. So I got my hands on a couple cans of this Aki fruit, I believe that's how you pronounce it, but I had seen it on Pinterest being used as a vegan egg substitute, so I thought I'd make a scramble with it. It comes in a brine, so I drained it and gave it a really thorough rinse, and then I prepared some vegetables. I have some red bell peppers, a little bit of onion, some mushrooms, and some spinach, as well as a little clove of garlic, because I need garlic in everything, as you guys know. And I sauteed those ingredients first, got them nice and tender, and then I seasoned them. I put in a couple of tablespoons of nutritional yeast to make it savory, some onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of black salt, so pretty much just everything I put in my typical tofu scramble. And then the aki fruit is pretty delicate, so I put that in at the end and just stirred it kind of gently to warm it through. I think I actually over stirred it even because it did disintegrate a little bit. I'm gonna be honest, it was not my favorite thing. I ended up just kind of eating a little bit of it and then putting the rest in a Tupperware so because I did not really enjoy the breakfast and I didn't want to, you know, cook something else from scratch, I ended up just making a protein shake for breakfast. I used just water and then a scoop of this new protein powder by Vivo Life. And this is their brand new formula. It's a lot more affordable and kind of more basic than the Perform protein that I usually show in my videos. So I'll link it down below. So I used a scoop of the chocolate flavor. Also added in a tablespoon of powdered peanut butter, a little bit of ice, sugar, it up and had that as part two of my breakfast. For lunch, I had some leftover tofu that I had made the previous day. And I started out by actually shallow frying in about half of an inch of vegetable oil, some extra firm tofu. I set my fried tofu aside while I prepped all the other ingredients. I diced up some onion, some green onion, lots of garlic and some red bell pepper. Then for my sauce ingredients, I used soy sauce, a little bit of vegan oyster sauce. This is mushroom based. I get mine at my local Asian market. A little bit of brown sugar, some sesame oil, some roasted sesame seeds, and then a good amount of gochugaru. And these are Korean chili pepper flakes. It's the kind you use to make kimchi, if you've ever done that, in a big walk over high heat. I stir fried my onions, garlic, and the white parts of my green onion, as well as my bell pepper. Once those were starting to brown just a little bit, I added in all of my sauce ingredients and because the wok was super hot, they started bubbling and thickening pretty much right away. And then I tossed in some water just to thin it out a little bit and then my fried tofu and stirred it till it was coated. So I had some leftovers of that that I ate for lunch with a little bit of leftover rice as well. I was testing a recipe for some homemade oat bread and I do own a bread machine and I figured why not bust it out and just use it today. So I threw all the ingredients in there, water, yeast, sugar, a little bit of salt, some bread flour, and then rolled oats, and a little bit of melted vegan butter. My bread machine has an oatmeal bread program, so I just clicked on that and it ended up working fine. I'm still kind of tweaking this recipe, so it's not up on the blog yet, but it should be soon. But as a snack, I had a little slice of that with some vegan butter. 
The dinner was just kind of like a random hodgepodge of things. That day I had also been testing a recipe for kind of healthier baked beans that are vegan friendly. So I had a mixture of I think white and pinto beans. I started out by kind of par pressure cooking them in the instant pot to soften them up just a little bit, kind of equivalent to soaking them overnight. So I drained those, I added in fresh water, some onion, red bell pepper, and garlic, added that, tomato paste, onion and garlic powder, black pepper, and paprika. I added in some liquid smoke because a lot of traditional baked bean recipes call for bacon, so I wanted to replace that smoky flavor. Then some brown sugar. I also added in some spicy brown mustard, but forgot to film that addition. And I mixed everything up and put it back in the slow cooker and pressure cooked it for I think a total of 20 to 30 minutes. So I ended up eating a big serving of that for dinner along with a little bit of mac and cheese. We used the vegan cheddar Annie's mac and cheese, the box mac. Then also to get some greens in and keep it really easy, I just sauteed some spinach. I have this garlic herb salt-free seasoning from Trader Joe's, so I added quite a bit of that. At the end, I thought like, what the heck? I have cherry tomatoes, so I threw in a handful of those as well. So that wraps up my very first quick bite what I eat in a day video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'm pretty excited to be making more of these moving forward. I would love it if you would subscribe. If you're new here, I share vegan recipes and meal ideas all the time. I also have a blog, sarahsvegankitchen.com, where I store all of my favorite recipes and I have printable recipe cards. You can also connect with me on Instagram at the Sarah Sullivan, and I have a podcast that I'd love to have you tune into. Uh, all of that information will be down below. So thanks so much for joining me today and I'll see you very soon. Bye.